For what purpose does the gentleman from Indiana rise? From Wisconsin. Uh, Madam Clerk, Wisconsin. I rise to nominate the gentleman from California, Mr. Kevin McCarthy, for Speaker of the House. The gentleman is recognized. Gentleman is recognized. Let's all take a second, take a look around. I know people are getting frustrated. Take a look at this chamber and realize how lucky we are to serve this country in Congress. How lucky we all are, Democrats and Republicans, to be citizens of the greatest country in the history of the world. <laughs> He's definitely out of order, Madam Clerk. I say that because I know Last night, people were frustrated. They wanted to go to parties. They wanted to take pictures with their families. But honestly, we find ourselves here in this chamber for the second day. And we know we got work to do. But in some ways, there's no place I'd rather be. With the possible exception of Lambeau Field on Sunday, no place <laughs> I'd rather be. But maybe with the excitement, some of you hadn't had an opportunity to check what's happening online let me fill you in, or what's happening on Twitter, what the press is writing about. In some ways, they're salivating. There's headlines about the chaos, this and that. Yesterday, our colleagues on the other side of the aisle were tweeting their bags of popcorn that they had out. They love it. The schadenfreude is palpable. But I think my friends on the Democratic side misunderstand what's happening here. Sure, it looks messy, but democracy is messy. Democracy is messy by, by design, by design. And that's a feature, that's a feature, not a bug of our system. We air it all out in the open for the American people to see, because at the end of the day, the president's not in charge, the Supreme Court's not in charge, the Speaker of the House is not even in charge. The American people are in charge. And I'm proud to be part of a party that welcomes debate, that invites different views, that isn't afraid of that. Now, I listened to some of my colleagues yesterday. Mr. Roy from Texas, my good friend, he knows I respect his views. I have been his partner in anti-proxy voting crusades, pro-regular order crusades. I understand. I know that his intentions are pure. I know a lot of people are just frustrated with the way Congress works. But, and Chip, you know I believe that in my bones. Nobody has done more to lay out a plan for how we restore the basic functioning of this institution than Kevin McCarthy. Nobody, nobody has done that. Now you may not have gotten everything you wanted. There are things I want that I know it's just not possible to get done in this Congress. But Mr. McCarthy has gone above and beyond in terms of listening to people with concerns and laying out a plan for how we restore the basic functioning of the House of Representatives. Furthermore, I believe no one has done more to bring us into the majority than Kevin McCarthy. I, 
I, w- I listen, I wish we had a bigger majority, right? I, I wish we could do everything over the next two years, but the American people gave us an opportunity. They gave us, Republicans, an opportunity to inject some basic common sense into the federal government, to pull the emergency brake on a lot of the crazy we've seen in the last few years. They're asking us to do a job, and nobody has laid out a plan a proactive policy agenda for the direction we want to take this country in more detail than Kevin McCarthy. You all had an opportunity to provide input into that plan. And the irony of this current moment and this debate we're having is that on the big stuff we all agree, right? We want to secure the border. We don't want the executive branch to do everything through a pen and a phone. We want to work with our Democratic colleagues when it comes to standing up to our enemies abroad, right? There are basic things we know we need to do. It is time to get to work. So you might tweet out some more popcorn emojis. I get it. You might write your headlines. But what I see right now is energy. A tremendous amount of energy in this Republican caucus who want to do the work of the people. Mr. McCarthy is not asking you to endorse business as usual in the House. He's laid out a plan to renew the House of Representatives and once again make it an institution that we can credibly look ourselves in the mirror and say we are working in the people's house. For that and many other reasons, I nominate Kevin McCarthy for Speaker of the House.